So there is a lot of uncertainty in these times. When it comes to entertainment, when it comes to Disney, their stock has taken a sharp fall. And there's a lot of people questioning what their future holds and do they even have a future considering the majority of their revenue streams have been shut down indefinitely. And there's still the question of are films even going to be able to hit it this year when it comes to theaters? Well, let's talk about all this and a brand new credit agreement to keep Disney afloat for another year. Okay, guys, so there's been many of you messaging me to talk about this. Um, it happened just a little bit over, I want to say, 20-ish hours ago. I mean, I mean, it's on different sites, so, you know, we're just going to go over what's happening, what does this mean for everything. So, as Deadline is reporting, which, obviously, that's a uh, very good source to go by, not a rumor or anything... Walt Disney enters new five billion credit agreement for coronavirus. Uh, pretty much, um, they need this because this is going to help them stay afloat. Uh, that's just cutting through, so I don't have to read everything simply for you guys and get into all the, uh, you know, like monotony of it. I'm just going to try to make this simple. So uh, the five billion one year credit. That follows a six billion in company raised last month with a sale of debt securities. So what is happening is uh, the next year is certainly uncertain. I mean, that much we're certain of, and things could still end up getting delayed or pushed back. So Disney needed five billion, a one-time credit agreement. Now, this is given to them so they can continue operating, so they can pay people and continue to maintain operations. Now, along with this, if you just keep on looking into this, you know, uh, they go into some of the other details that are in here, essentially, uh, for what does this mean. And the big takeaway from this is the fact that, you know, it's a credit and credit needs to be repaid. So, again... They're not just borrowing and going, well, good thing we uh, got this money now, we're set. That's not it. And as it says right here, um, you know, it matures in April of 2021 and could be extended for a year. So again, this thing right here actually has an interest for Disney. And I did some more looking into it on other websites and they go a little bit more into um, some of the details. And essentially right here, you know, um, there is more that they talk about. So here's the interest you're seeing. So again, you know, they're going to have to pay this back. It's not just going to disappear. Now, Disney's hope is that everything gets back to normal and then they can start pumping out very solid revenue for the foreseeable future and be able to pay this with a minimum interest as is the goal with any credit if you own a credit card or anything like that again so uh this honestly to me paints a good picture for disney because if everything is back on track they know they got some heavy hitters coming right around the corner which obviously that's you know this puts the pressure on them to try to uh get more things done that will raise money faster because they don't want this you know, continuing to uh, garner more and more interest, especially when they're still going to be, you know, yes, they acquired Fox, but there's still a lot of money tied up into that that has to go to places. So again, with their theme park shut down, which are a major factor, they got to get back on schedule real fast. 